It's Freddie Lake. And tomorrow, I'm gonna be doing Tracy Ellis Ross's morning routine. You all may have seen Chantel do Oprah's morning routine, so I decided to follow suit with my personal idol, as you all know, T-E-R, Tracy, Ms. Ross if you nasty. My morning routine. <laughs> so I've started working out. On a day where I'm working out, I'll usually wake up at seven, get to the gym by 7.30, do like an hour workout, get home by 8.30, and I'm out the door by like 9.15 to get to work. And you know, the getting ready all is like showering, teeth brushing, putting on a wig, and then heading to work. That's it. My cat eats dry food, so I don't have to like feed her every morning. Everything is pretty like quick and seamless. I'm just not really like a routine person. I kind of just like do the bare minimum that allows me to get the most amount of sleep possible. The working out though has helped me to sort of have a little bit more structure, which I like. I really want to do her routine because I love her. And she looks great. She's upwards of 45 years old and she literally looks so good and I feel like there has to be a reason, right? So I'm gonna try to just live like her and maybe I'll look like her at her age. Shall we look at the list? So I got research from our lovely research team and they found what they could of what Tracy Ellis Ross's morning routine usually consists of on a day where she has like an 8 a.m. call time to be on set. So I've taken a look at the list, but it actually is relatively chill. It's just very early and I am not a morning person at all. I'm gonna arrive at BuzzFeed at nine and that's gonna be my call time. So everything that she's doing, I'm pushing an hour later because again, I'm tired. <laughs> so, it says when she's in the middle of shooting, she'll usually be up at 4.30 a.m. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So now you see why I, I pushed everything an hour. So I'm gonna wake up at 5.30 a.m. It says, as a result of this early wake up time, she prioritizes living joyfully and getting enough sleep. To the best of her ability, she'll get eight hours of sleep. Yay, let's do it! I actually made a mistake and like fell asleep as soon as I got home and then woke up. So I wasn't too tired, but I ended up taking some melatonin and I was able to get to sleep at a relatively decent time, but I probably got about six and a half to seven hours of sleep, which isn't terrible. Okay, so it is 5.30 a.m. When I woke up at 5.30, it was of course still pitch black outside. It says that she usually tries to not look at her phone and will pray or meditate when she first wakes up. And that is gonna be a challenge for me because I look at my phone as soon as my eyes open. I am going to meditate for like 10 minutes. I haven't looked at my phone or anything. Now my worry with meditating at 5.30 a.m. is that I will fall asleep. <laughs> In order for me to meditate without falling back asleep, I sort of sat up and I turned my Philips Hue lights onto blue to sort of set the mood. I closed my eyes and just prayed for all my friends and family. I prayed for everyone's health and I prayed for a positive, optimistic, and really productive day. Okay, so I just finished meditation and prayer. It was a really nice start to my day. I had to make sure that I actively prayed versus just meditation because I was scared that I was gonna fall asleep. But I set another alarm for 10 minutes just to make sure that I was staying on track. But I'm done with my prayer and now I'm about to wash my face and brush my teeth for the gym. She has a whole face wash routine, but I doubt that she does. Berta. I doubt she does her whole like face routine before the gym. She doesn't give specifics, so I'm just gonna do that. So to stay in line with Tracy's timeline in the morning, I need to be at the gym by 6.30. She eats her Special K with almond milk and then she goes to her Tracy Anderson Method workout class. And I tried to figure out a way that I could go to the class so I could actually have the true experience, but we were unable to work it out. Tracy has noted that if she has an 8 a.m. call time, she'll try to squeeze in a workout class at 6 a.m. And she'll be in that workout class for 90 minutes. That's a long workout. It's 6.06 and I still have to make my bed, throw on some workout clothes and eat some Special K and get to the gym. And it's like a eight minute walk to the gym. Hopefully. I won't get there any later than like 10 minutes behind when Tracy would normally get there. So I have my workout clothes. I'm about to pour out some Special K with almond milk. So I've gotten the Special K. I think I already have almond milk, so it's nice to know that like I already have something that Tracy already uses. I know it's just almond milk, but. My almond milk just expired. <laughs> thought I was doing the thing, thought I was prepared. I'm not. So now I just have this dry cereal. Yum. <laughs> Yummy. And I'm gonna eat it dry. Oh my God, I'm so much like Tracy. Mm, look at these bags. I wonder if Tracy has bags like these in the morning. I'll probably get there like 6.40. But I have on my workout clothes, I'm ready to go. Deodorant stains all over my bra, top notch. Gym time. I'm impressed that she can work out for an hour and a half, get out at 7.30 and then go straight to set and get there by eight. Is she a superwoman? Yes, yeah, she is. So I'm just gonna go to my gym and do my normal workout, but extend it an additional 30 minutes and try to go a little bit harder than I normally would. Mine will just be the regular gym that I attend. Oh my gosh. It is freezing. I'm like literally never out this early. But I will say, I feel awake. 
So I made it back from the gym. I am exhausted. I did not know that adding 30 minutes on to my already one hour workout would be that big of a difference, but like it is. I did abs, leg exercises, did some like body weight work, deadlifts, and then I got on the treadmill and did 30 minutes of cardio at the end. And it's noted here multiple times that Tracy does usually record her workouts and post them on her Instagram. Now, I know that she's done that, but this is truly woven into this as if it's a part of her morning routine. I hate recording my own workouts and putting them on Instagram. Like that is not something that I feel comfortable doing. I don't have time for that on Instagram. You know everybody on Instagram is an expert. <laughs> She does great. She's very funny. It's entertaining. You can see that she's working hard. She's usually sweating her butt off. And also they're a little thirst trappy. Her little be out sometimes. She like does her booty workouts in the camera. And I'm just like, girl, you look great. I can't see myself doing this, but you kill it every time. So go on sister. My skin routine in the morning is very straightforward. Usually I'll wash my face with a Neutrogena face wash and then I'll use like a cheap moisturizer that has SPF in it and then keep it moving. Tracy's skin routine. She washes her face with Julissi's Gold Wash Day. I don't know how it's pronounced. There's a lower third here to show you that what it says. So I'm about to hop in the shower. I'm gonna wash my face with the face wash that Tracy uses. The face wash was so nice, really sudsy. A little bit went a long way, so price kind of makes it worth it since I'm sure it lasts for a decent amount of time. After washing, she applies Vintner's Daughter Active Botanical Serum. It smells like flowers. So the serum looks really oily, but when you put it on its mat, which is really dope. Then she moisturizes with Cosmetics Phyto Harmony Balancing Moisturizer. Get the ear and neck. Wow, this is a really good moisturizer. It's like thick, but not oily or greasy, which I'm into. And for sunscreen, Ross prefers Epicurean Discover Extreme Cream Propolis Sunscreen, as it gives her a nice glow as opposed to white sheen that comes from some sunblocks. Oh my gosh, this smells amazing. I was not expecting the sunscreen to smell like this. This smells like kind of like candy, which I'm into. That a lot of sunscreens can leave on brown skin, which she is correct. Oh my gosh, I feel moisturized and ready for the day. Mm. These four products together were hundreds of dollars. It's one of those things where I'm like, I'm just gonna soak this up, no pun intended, while I have the products, but I probably won't be able to keep up with rebuying the products for myself because I'm not on Tracy level yet. Honestly, by the time I finished my skin routine, it was nine and I hadn't even gotten dressed yet. After her workout, it also says that she'll get a protein drink from Air um, Erewhon. Erewhon. So after her workout, it also says that she grabs a protein drink from Erewhon. Am I saying it right? So after her workout, she'll go to Erewhon and get a berry power protein drink. And it contains almond milk, bananas, blueberries, dates, and vegan protein powder. Now I've never had a protein drink actually in my life. Like I'll usually just do like a smoothie with some protein in it. And I've also never been to Erewhon. It's very LA. Are the drinks like $20? I think they're expensive. Of course. It is 9.13. I still have to go get the smoothie that Tracy gets after her workout. So I'm gonna be a little late for my call time, but it's okay, I'm trying to just see this entire routine through. One thing left. I just left Air One and they didn't have the protein drink that Tracy gets, which is the Berry Power Protein Drink. So I just got a comparable one, another drink that's high in protein, but it's a peanut butter one. So I will drink this. I've never been to Air One before, so that was cool. Very fancy, very pricey beverage, but hopefully it fills my belly because I'm hungry. I'm gonna take a quick sip right now because I'm hungry and I can't wait. Hopefully this also gives me some energy because I'm feeling tired from the workout and from being up so early. But Tracy doesn't do stimulants, so this is what it's gonna have to do. It's really good. Then I got to the office. Guess what time I got to the office? 9.30. 10.30. You gotta go to Freddy! <laughs> I know. I was technically like an hour and a half late for my call time, which is unacceptable. This is what I've realized. Tracy Ellis Ross, I'm sure has an assistant who meets her maybe at the Tracy Anderson method. She probably showers at the gym. She probably has an assistant to bring her like her drink and all the other things that she needs so that she can be on her way to set. Or I honestly could have gone to Arrow on the night before and just had the protein drink ready to go. But I didn't think about that. I will say, yes, this kind of routine does take some planning ahead or another set of pants to help out. So that's something that I realized. So I made it to work. Just posted my morning workout on Instagram. Ooh. 
but I did it anyway. <laughs> and yes, someone did critique my form. So it's end of day, and this morning I did Tracy Ellis Ross's morning routine. I'm up at 5.30 a.m. It's now almost 6 p.m. I am feeling it, I'm tired, but it was really fun. I would say the hardest part was waking up early and then also posting part of my workout routine on Instagram. Those were like the two most challenging parts about it. I think my favorite parts were the skincare routine and the protein drink from the market. Probably gonna try to implement those things in the future. It was really fun. It was really cool to shake up my routine and try something new. Maybe I'll try to get up earlier. Not 5.30, but earlier. What you doing? Vlogging. What you talk about? I did Tracy Ellis Ross's morning routine. Oh. I can tell. Can you? Yes. Do I have her glow? I can tell. This is beautiful. Oh, thanks girl. Keep it going. <laughs>